Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really, really fun video. If you don't know already, I'm a huge, huge fan of the big bore calibers. Today I have out a 458 SOCOM, a 450 Bushmaster, and a 4570 Government. And you can see in front of me, I have a whole ton of different type of ammo loadings for all three of these guns. We got the chronograph out. That's literally all I'm gonna do here is show you guys all of these different loadings for these three different guns. I'm gonna do my best to tell you about the bullet weights. We're gonna check them on the chronograph. We got so many rounds. I'm gonna just shoot one round each. If the chronograph reading is squirrely or doesn't seem right, we'll redo it. But I'm gonna run through this whole row, give you a quick intro to the ammo and then we're going to keep on trucking down the line we're going to start with this 458 socom this is a super super sweet rifle this is from cmmg the color i ordered it in is called bazooka green i'm trying to hit the stock here to make it closer and fit on the camera but yeah first we're going to shoot the 458 socom very very good shooting rifle love to shoot that one what am I talking about? I love shooting all these. Secondly, we're going to be shooting this Ruger Ranch in 450 Bushmaster. This is my personal deer gun. Love, love, love this rifle. And then lastly, we are going to be shooting this Marlin. Love to shoot the 4570 Government as well. This one is a shoulder bruiser. I don't care who you are. If you shoot this a lot, it's going to bruise your shoulder. But, like I said, we're going to have a whole lot of fun. Show you guys the chronograph readings off all of this different ammo. As I shoot it, I'm going to try to give you more information and not make this a crazy long video. But, like I said, let's start with the 458 SOCOM. Should be a whole lot of fun. First, we're going to be shooting in the 458 SOCOM is this Inceptor ARX ammo. And these are 200 grain bullets. So 200 grain bullet in the 458. I would imagine we would get a pretty uh, zinging reading here, a 200 grain of 458. Error. Let me load another one. Normally when it reads error, that just means that the ammo is too awesome. Let's try another one. See what happens with this. I might have been too close to the chrono that time. Air again. Let me back up a bit further even more. What makes me nervous when I back up further away from the chrono is that I'm afraid I'm gonna shoot the chrono. But here's another one of those Inceptor ARX. Let's see if the uh, third time is a charm here. Hopefully not shoot my chrono here on his first shot. Twenty two eighty seven. That's booking it for a four fifty eight SOCOM. Let's grab some more ammo. Next for the four fifty eight, we have a three hundred and fifty grain berry bullet, so a little bit heavier bullet. This one is loaded by Black Butterfly. I would imagine this bullet being quite a bit heavier should be a little bit slower. Now let's see what happens with this one. Yeah, you see how much slower that heavier bullet was, what, 1656? Let's grab another 458. This one is actually a 300 grain extreme penetrator, and this one's loaded by SBR. So. Let's see how these 300 grains, I would imagine it'd be somewhere in between those first two. I actually like shooting this chronograph further away. I get, it's easier with the scope. Yep, right in between somewhere. It's 1841 out of that one. Now let's go pick up the 450 Bushmaster. I'm having a whole lot of fun. All right, now we got the Ruger 450 Bushmaster out. These first rounds are going to be going crazy fast. This is a 160 grain 450 Bushmaster. 
that they call the screamers mainly because it's so light that bullet's going to be going crazy fast so let's see how fast we can push this 450 bushmaster around almost 2800 feet per second that's a common mis misconception when people talk about big bull rounds you, you typically think oh that's a crazy heavy bullet going really slow well you can shoot light bullets crazy fast or you can shoot the heavy bullets even subsonic with suppressors but you can see how fast that is 2800 feet per second that's booking it for a big bull rifle let's grab some more ammo this next one we have is also a black butterfly loading this is a 240 grain smasher these are lead free bullets oh, this one's a 240 grain we're just gonna load them in like that let's check the speed on this one 2000 feet per second on that one next one we have is another black butterfly loading this is a 275 grain barnes xpb bullet Let's check the reading on this one. 1844. Next is another black butterfly loading. This is a 275 grain tomahawk. These are some nasty, nasty rounds. You can see how they have machine slits in them. These are crazy expanding bullets. I have several videos on these if you want to see how these expand. But let's see how these go. 275 grain. Black Butterfly Loaded Tomahawks. Almost 2,000 feet per second. That's some wicked ammo. Next we have another Black Butterfly Loaded Cartridge. This is a 300 grain XTPs. I'm sure some of you are pretty familiar with those bullets, but a little bit heavier bullet. Still shooting the 450 Bushmaster. 300 grain X... I always get those mixed up. XPBs, XTBs. XTPs, 300 grain XTP. Let's see what happens. Probably a little bit slower. 1800 feet per second. This next round, this next round is a 300 grain lead soft point. This is loaded by Great Lakes Ammunition. I ordered these from somewhere in Michigan. This is a 300 grain Great Lakes ammo soft point. Let's see what happens. a bit slower than that black butterfly stuff of the same weight so you can see how some of these bullets are loaded by different manufacturers based upon the powder irregardless of the bullet weight based upon the charge they can load those suckers up hot or a little bit lower you saw that one was 300 as well and was only 1400 this one I want to pause and take a closer look at this is the black butterfly 200 grain stingers this is what i have been personally whitetail hunting this year with the 450 bushmaster of 200 grain black butterfly stingers you can see that wicked square hollow point there we'll see how fast these are going 200 grains from black butterfly this is going to be going pretty fast i'm i'm here to tell you let's we'll see what it reads 2244. Just because this is the one I'm deer hunting with, I'm gonna shoot another one downrange. That one was 2244. Let's see what this one reads. 2222. So you can see that it's pretty consistent there. And when I moved it back, I'm shooting about oh, a little bit less than 10 yards away, if that gives you some idea. But yeah, that black butterfly stuff that I'm hunting with is consistent stuff this is another round that i want to pause and show you this is a 275 grain maker bullet that black butterfly loads and calls the hex saw you can see all the machine slits down the side and i have one of these expanded here with me look at the expansion of that bullet talk about nasty these suckers are going to have some takedown power that's one of the reasons that I like the big bull rifles when you're hunting. Bada bing, bada boom. Ain't no tracking. So the hex saw loaded by Black Butterfly. 275 grain. 
Let's check the speed on this one. Just under 2,000 feet per second. Pretty wicked. All right, now we're getting into the 4570. Like I said, this is a shoulder bruiser. You guys can call me a wimp, but this gun has literally put golf ball size, whatever you want to call it, hematobas, hematomas sticking out of my shoulder from shooting this for an entire day. But love, love, love this rifle. This was my first introduction to big bore stuff. So, and I like lever guns, so it makes it even cooler. First one we're gonna shoot here is a Barnes. I think they're called TSX. I honestly don't have the box anymore. And I think these are somewhere around the woods of 300 grains as well. But 4570 is known for being able to load it real, real hot. Let's see the speed of these barns out of the 4570 here. This rifle, I've got a Stierka S3 Red Dot on it that I think is the bomb diggity. Let's see if we can not shoot the chronograph here with the 4570. 1800 feet per second out of that 4570 round. Let's grab another one. This one, honestly, I forgot what it is, but I do know it's a 405 grain that is loaded really hot. This is one of the ones that really put a hurting on my shoulder a while back. So, hot, 405 grain, 4570, if that means anything to you. Let's check the speed on this one. Ooh, boy. Nineteen hundred. So, watch the recoil too. If you haven't been paying attention to the recoil of these guns, first one was a semi-auto. Second one was a bolt. This is a lever action. I'm here to tell you, this 4570 rocks my shoulder a lot more than those other two. This next one is a Winchester Super X. A lot of people shoot these in 4570 just because they're pretty cheap and they're easy to get. Most WalMarts literally sell this stuff and. These are 300 grain too. I had to go check the box. 300 grain Winchester Super X. A lot of people don't like these because the, the true 4570 guys out there say that this is garbage ammo and it's weak. And if you're gonna shoot 4570, you need to load it crazy hot and break your shoulder and all that. But this ammo has been pretty proven to take down a lot of stuff. So I don't knock it. A 300 grain Winchester Super X. Definitely a lot less recoil out of that one. There's the proof, 1,491. That stuff definitely is a lot weaker than those first two I shot out of this rifle. And this one is an HSM, 405 grain. This stuff, if I remember right, was a shoulder bruiser too. So let's see here how this stuff shoots. Definitely more kick on that. You can see there that 405 grain bullet, as well as the first two, went faster than that lighter Winchester load. So I've got to say, poo poo on the Winchester stuff. It's loaded weak, should be going a whole lot faster. This next one is a 250 grain bullet loaded by Black Butterfly. It's pretty wicked. I don't know how well it's gonna show on the camera there, but these are also machined slits down the side where the middle plug keeps going and then the four fins just flake off, cause massive destruction. I shot this stuff in some ballistics gel. If you have not seen that video, you have got to watch it. Those four blades just go off in all four directions and it's awesome. But this one, a light bullet, 250 grain in the grand scheme of things for 4570. Let's see how this thing goes. Knowing that it's loaded by Black Butterfly just makes it awesome as you have seen from the data so far. Well, let's see what happens with this one. Two thousand feet per second out of a 4570. If I'm not mistaken, that's the fastest 4570 we've seen so far. Hey, and the last bullet we're going to shoot here for this video is an extreme penetrator round. Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrator. This one was actually sent to me by a viewer, Mars Capone. Big thanks to you, Mars. Wicked, wicked, wicked. If you want to see these in more videos too, there's definitely several videos of these. I actually just shot these in the paper plates just the other day. So, 
Let's check out these Underwood ammo loaded extreme penetrators. That one definitely uh, had some heat on it there too. I felt it rocking my shoulder there. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but I had a blast filming and shooting that video. Whole, whole, whole lot of fun. I always love seeing what happens, especially when we pull out that chronograph. But this just goes to show you that ammo is not ammo is not ammo. There definitely is a difference between the weights of the bullets and also who loads the bullets. You saw in there we had some 300 grain bullets that were night and day difference as far as the speed goes on the chronograph, even though the bullet weights were the same. So if you're like me, you know, you normally just run out and get the cheapest stuff, uh, which is great for planking, but if you're hunting or trying to do some precision shooting, that may not always be the best thing. But big, big thanks to everybody for watching the video. I absolutely had a blast shooting the big bull rifles. It